Welcome to a thrilling journey through the world of serpents, where mystery, beauty, and fascination intertwine. Today, we discuss 10 extraordinary snake species, each with its unique allure and mystique. From the sinuous grace of pythons to the mesmerizing patterns of boa constrictors, the hypnotic dance of cobras, and the ominous rattle of rattlesnakes, we explore the diverse realms these creatures inhabit. Prepare to be captivated by these incredible reptiles as we unveil their secrets, survival strategies, and the pivotal role they play in our ecosystem. Boa Constrictor. Boa constrictors are remarkable and powerful snakes that have captivated both reptile enthusiasts and researchers alike. Contrary to popular belief, boa constrictors do not kill by suffocation. Instead, they constrict their prey, cutting off blood flow to the brain and causing death by ischemia. Their sharp teeth are not used for chewing, but for securing prey while they wrap their bodies around it. As boa constrictors grow, their diet shifts from small rodents and birds to larger prey like monkeys, wild boars, and deer. Their impressive digestive system, relying on strong stomach acid, can take six to 10 days to process a meal, leading to periods of dormancy. These snakes are ambush predators, using surprise rather than pursuit to capture prey. Boa constrictors have a long lifespan, living up to 30 years in the wild and 40 years in captivity. They grow significantly over their lifetime, with some reaching lengths of over 15 feet. Interestingly, female boa constrictors are typically longer and heavier than males, a trait necessary for carrying their young. They give live birth, with clutches ranging from 20 to 60 babies, and in rare cases can reproduce asexually through parthenogenesis. Females determine the gender of their offspring, which is a rare trait among reptiles. Despite their large size, boa constrictors are relatively slow, moving at about one mile per hour and preferring to climb or swim rather than travel overland. Their striking patterns, varying from tan, yellow, red, pink, or green, provide effective camouflage and contribute to their popularity as pets. Boa constrictors face threats from larger predators like jaguars and crocodiles yet they are capable hunters themselves and can defend themselves effectively. They possess a variety of defensive mechanisms, including hissing loudly enough to be heard from 100 feet away. These snakes have a unique sensory system, able to pick up chemical trails with their mouths and sense heat with scales around their mouths. Boa constrictors are solitary creatures, preferring to live alone except during mating. They are born with an instinct to hunt and are considered one of the most primitive snake species. Rattlesnakes. Consisting of 33 species of venomous vipers, rattlesnakes are known for their distinctive segmented rattles at the tail end, which produce a buzzing sound when vibrated. Found from southern Canada to central Argentina, they are most abundant and diverse in the deserts of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. Adult rattlesnakes usually vary in length from 1.5 to 6.5 feet, with some growing up to over 8 feet. They exhibit a range of colors, including gray, light brown, and in some cases shades of orange, pink, red, or green, often marked with dark diamonds, hexagons, or rhombuses. Their rattle is made of hollow, loosely connected keratin scales on the tip of its tail. When the snake vibrates its tail, the scales strike each other, creating a buzzing sound. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake is North America's longest and heaviest venomous snake, averaging three to six feet in length and occasionally reaching eight feet. It's known for its deadly venomous bite, potentially fatal to humans, although human deaths are rare due to the availability of anti-venom. These snakes are common in environments like scrublands, coastal forests, and pine flatwoods. Rattlesnakes are not inherently aggressive and usually only attack when provoked. They are pit vipers, equipped with a heat-sensing pit between each eye and nostril, aiding in hunting. This ability allows them to detect and accurately strike living targets in complete darkness. Rattlesnakes' diet mainly comprises small mammals, 
especially rodents, and young snakes also feed on lizards. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake, for instance, is an ambush predator, preying on small mammals and birds. A notable feature of rattlesnakes is their fangs, similar to curved hypodermic needles, which are used to inject venom. These snakes cannot tolerate extreme temperatures and hibernate in dens during winter, emerging in spring for mating. Rattlesnakes give birth to young that develop from eggs retained inside the mother, producing broods of 1 to 60. Newborn rattlesnakes have functioning fangs and venom glands, with their venom being more potent but lesser in quantity than that of adults. Anacondas. Anacondas, belonging to the boa family, are known for their enormous size and are considered the largest snakes in the world by weight. There are four species of anacondas, with the green anaconda being the largest. This species can grow more than 29 feet in length, weigh over 550 pounds, and measure more than 12 inches in diameter, making it heavier than its cousin, the reticulated python. Female anacondas are significantly larger than males, displaying the largest sexual dimorphism among snakes. Anacondas are native to South America, inhabiting swamps, marshes, and slow-moving streams, primarily in the Amazon and Orinoco basins. Although they are cumbersome on land, they are stealthy and efficient in the water. Their eyes and nasal openings are positioned on top of their heads, allowing them to remain submerged while waiting for prey. Their diet consists of wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybara, caimans, and even jaguars. As non-venomous constrictors, they kill by coiling around their prey and asphyxiating them. Their jaws, attached by stretchy ligaments, enable them to swallow large prey whole, and they can survive weeks or months without food after a big meal. Female anacondas give birth to live young, with baby snakes being about two feet long at birth and immediately able to swim and hunt. The lifespan of anacondas in the wild is approximately 10 years. In addition to the green anaconda, other smaller species include the yellow, dark-spotted, and Bolivian varieties. Pythons. Pythons, a fascinating species of snake, have captivated both pet owners and wildlife enthusiasts alike. Originally hailing from Asia and Africa, these snakes have a global presence today. Renowned for their massive size, Pythons are non-venomous constrictors, employing brute force to subdue their prey by wrapping around them and causing circulatory failure. These serpents have the potential to attack large mammals, though such incidents are exceedingly rare. Pythons exhibit interesting reproductive behaviors. After hatching, baby pythons are left to fend for themselves, as the mother python departs post-hatching. In feeding, pythons swallow their prey whole, thanks to their highly flexible jaw ligaments, allowing them to open their mouths wider than their bodies. This ability is often misunderstood as unhinging their jaws, a common myth. In the United States, particularly in Florida, Burmese pythons have become an invasive species, thriving without natural predators and causing ecological damage. They are known to grow up to 20 feet in length and over 200 pounds. Despite the challenges they face in the wild, pythons can live a long time, especially in captivity. Pythons are also popular pets, with ball pythons being particularly favored due to their manageable size, easygoing nature, and diverse color morphs. Over 50 morphs of ball pythons have been discovered, offering a variety of colors and patterns for enthusiasts. Cobras. Cobras, known for their iconic hoods and potent venom, are a diverse group of highly venomous snakes found from Southern Africa through Southern Asia to Southeast Asian islands. The hood, a characteristic feature of cobras, is formed by the expansion of neck ribs. Not all cobras are closely related, despite sharing this distinctive trait. Cobras are the subject of fascination in many cultures and are often used by snake charmers. The king cobra holds the title of the world's largest venomous snake, with a maximum confirmed length of about 18 feet. This species, found predominantly in forests from India to Indonesia, 
mainly preys on other snakes and guards its nest of 20 to 40 eggs vigilantly. The Indian cobra was once considered a single species with a similar distribution to the king cobra. However, recent studies have revealed nearly a dozen species in Asia, with some being venom spitters. These cobras vary in size and venom toxicity, with spitters capable of propelling venom more than two meters, aiming for their victims' eyes. In Africa, both spitting and non-spitting cobras exist, but they are not related to Asian cobras or each other. The ring halls, or spitting cobra, and the black neck cobra are notable African spitters. The venom, if not washed away promptly, can cause temporary or permanent blindness. The Egyptian cobra, probably the asp of antiquity, is a dark, narrow hooded species about two meters long found across Africa and eastward to Arabia, usually preying on toads and birds. Mambas. Mamba snakes, specifically the black mamba, are known for their large size, quickness, and extremely potent venom, making them one of the most dangerous snakes in sub-Saharan Africa. The average black mamba is about 2 to 2.5 meters long, with some reaching a maximum length of 4.5 meters. Contrary to their name, black mambas are not actually black, but range in color from gray to dark brown with a lighter underside. The name black mamba refers to the color of the inside of its mouth. These snakes are found in rocky savannas and lowland forests. And unlike other mamba species, black mambas are not primarily arboreal, preferring to be on the ground. Although black mambas have an aggressive reputation, they are generally shy and nervous, using their speed to escape threats. However, when cornered, they can be dangerous, capable of striking repeatedly with their extremely toxic venom that attacks both the nervous system and the heart. The black mamba's venom is so potent that two drops can reportedly kill most humans. Despite this, attacks on humans are rare, and most bites are not fatal due to the availability of antivenom. In the wild, black mambas typically live for at least 11 years, while those in captivity can live for more than 20 years. Tiger snakes. Tiger snakes are large and highly venomous snakes predominantly found in southern Australia, including Tasmania and coastal islands. Recognizable by their banding, reminiscent of a tiger's stripes, their coloration and patterns are remarkably diverse, ranging from olive, yellow, orange brown to jet black, often with contrasting bands. These snakes belong to the Elapidae family, known for their fixed front fangs and are closely related to the rough-scaled snake. Adaptable and versatile, tiger snakes inhabit various environments but are most commonly found in coastal regions, favoring wetlands, creeks, and areas near water sources. They are capable of thriving in both subtropical and temperate climates. These snakes exhibit significant regional variation, both in physical appearance and behavior with some island populations evolving larger heads to handle larger prey. This trait has been observed as both a result of phenotypic plasticity in younger populations and genetic assimilation in older ones. Tiger snakes use their potent venom, containing neurotoxins, coagulants, hemolysins, and myotoxins primarily for hunting. However, they can also pose a significant threat to humans with symptoms of a bite including pain, tingling, numbness, and in severe cases, breathing difficulties and paralysis. The mortality rate from untreated bites can be as high as 40 to 60 percent. Despite this, fatalities have decreased due to the availability of antivenom and effective treatment methods like the pressure immobilization method. Their reproductive behavior is also notable, with tiger snakes giving birth to live young, typically 20 to 30, but in exceptional cases, numbers as high as 64 have been recorded from a single female. Engaging for animal enthusiasts, tiger snakes present a fascinating study in adaptability, regional diversity, and survival strategies, making them a compelling subject for those interested in herpetology and wildlife in general. Vipers. Viperidae, commonly known as vipers, 
is a family of venomous snakes found in most parts of the world, excluding Antarctica, Australia, Hawaii, Madagascar, New Zealand, Ireland, and some isolated islands. This family is notable for its long, hinged fangs that allow for deep penetration and efficient venom injection. These snakes, with their hollow fangs, can inject venom from glands located behind the eyes, and the fangs fold back against the roof of the mouth when not in use. Vipers typically have keeled scales, a stocky build with a short tail, and a triangle-shaped head distinct from the neck due to the venom gland's location. They are predominantly nocturnal and ambush their prey. In terms of reproduction, most vipers are ovoviviparous, where eggs are retained inside the mother's body and the young emerge living, although a few lay eggs in nests. Viperid venoms contain a high concentration of protein-degrading enzymes or proteases, causing symptoms like pain, swelling, necrosis, and cardiovascular damage. The venom is both for defense and to immobilize prey, and it also assists in digestion due to many vipers having inefficient digestive systems. The severity of a viper bite can vary greatly depending on several factors, including the snake's size, species, and the amount of venom injected. These snakes can regulate the amount of venom based on the situation. Hemotoxic venom, which takes longer to immobilize prey than neurotoxic venom, necessitates that vipers track down their prey postbite, a process known as prey relocalization. This ability to control venom expenditure and the adaptation for tracking prey postbite highlight the vipers' sophisticated predatory strategies. Garter snakes. Garter snakes are small to medium-sized snakes native to North and Central America. They inhabit a wide range of environments across the lower 48 United States, most Canadian provinces, and extend into Mexico, Guatemala, and Costa Rica. Their habitat preferences include forests, woodlands, fields, and grasslands, always in close proximity to water sources like wetlands, streams, or ponds. With about 35 recognized species and subspecies, garter snakes display remarkable variability in appearance. They typically have large, round eyes, rounded pupils, a slender build, and keeled scales. Their distinctive feature is a pattern of longitudinal stripes, which may include spots or, in some cases, no stripes at all. The colors of these stripes range from blue, yellow, red, black, to beige tan. Their size also varies considerably, ranging from 18 to 51 inches in length. Garter snakes have an interesting social and reproductive behavior. They use complex pheromonal communication systems for mating, where males sometimes produce both male and female pheromones to attract other males in a process known as kleptothermy. This phenomenon allows them to become more active after hibernation. A single snake hatch can include as many as 57 young. In terms of diet, they are carnivorous, feeding on a variety of creatures including slugs, earthworms, leeches, lizards, amphibians, minnows, rodents, and other aquatic animals. Previously thought to be non-venomous, it was discovered in the early 2000s that garter snakes produce a neurotoxic venom. However, the venom is mild, and they lack an effective means of delivering it, posing little danger to humans. Despite facing threats from pet collection, habitat pollution, and predators like American bullfrogs and crayfish, garter snakes remain among the most common reptiles in their range. King snakes. King snakes are a diverse group of colubrid snakes found predominantly in North America, extending from the United States into Mexico. This genus is known for its impressive adaptation to various habitats, including tropical forests, shrublands, and deserts. King snakes exhibit a wide range in size and coloration, from muted browns and blacks to vibrant patterns of white, reds, yellows, grays, and lavenders. Some king snakes, such as the scarlet king snake, Mexican milk snake, and red milk snake, have colorations and patterns that can resemble the venomous coral snakes, leading to the cue red on black, a friend of Jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow. 
King snakes are non-venomous, but are known for their ophiophagous diet, meaning they often prey on other snakes, including venomous species like rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, and copperheads. Their diet also includes a variety of non-venomous snakes, lizards, rodents, birds, and eggs. Remarkably, king snakes are known to be immune to the venom of other snakes, allowing them to hunt and eat species that would be dangerous to other predators. They are primarily terrestrial, but are also capable climbers and swimmers. King snakes use constriction to subdue their prey, exerting a significant amount of force relative to their body size, which is believed to be an adaptation for preying on other snakes and reptiles. King snakes, therefore, present a fascinating case of adaptation and survival strategies, making them a unique and interesting subject for animal enthusiasts and herpetologists alike. As our journey across the captivating world of snakes comes to an end, we hope you've been awed by the 10 incredible species we've explored. From the constricting might of pythons and boa constrictors, to the venomous prowess of cobras, rattlesnakes, mambas, tiger snakes, and vipers, and the understated elegance of king snakes and garter snakes, each species has revealed a fascinating slice of the natural world. These serpents, often misunderstood and feared, play a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance. They are not just creatures of intrigue, but vital components of our planet's biodiversity. We trust that this documentary has not only informed, but also transformed your perspective, instilling a deeper appreciation for these remarkable reptiles.